Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Sunday responded to international criticism of a plan to build 797 homes in Jalal, saying that Israel will continue construction in Jerusalem in the same way that the international community builds in their own individual capitals. We place no limits on construction in our capital city, Netanyahu said at the start of a cabinet meeting. Just as they build in London, Paris, Washington and Moscow, we will continue to build in Jerusalem. He added, we have no less historic and strong connection to our capital. Netanyahu thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Criticism came after Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman said Israel's red line on the issue, saying that the country will not negotiate with anyone over Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not a settlement. Lieberman said in his second attack on the EU since its public censure of the plan. Jaila is a Jewish neighborhood. Today there are 32 to 33,000 Jews living there. It's an integral part of Jerusalem. An Interior Ministry Regional Planning Committee gave initial approval to the project in June and completed the planning process on Thursday, according to Haggett Offren of Peace Now. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. But before construction can begin, the Ministry of Construction and Housing and Slash the Israel Lands Authority must call for tenders and the Jerusalem municipality must issue building permits. The EU Foreign Policy Chief Catherine Ashton condemned the plan and called it regrettable and illegal. Settlements are illegal under international law and threaten to make a two-state solution impossible, her office said. The EU has repeatedly urged the government of Israel to immediately end all settlement activities in the West Bank including in East Jerusalem, in line with its obligations under the road map. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Lieberman encouraged European officials to focus on their internal issues, including ongoing strife in Brussels and Cyprus. He also invited them to visit Jalo to gain a better understanding of the neighborhood's relation to Israel's capital. Jalo is a seven-minute walk from the city center, he said. Its population is homogeneously Jewish. He added, every Israeli government has built there, starting with former Prime Minister Levi Eshkol and former Prime Minister Golda Meir. The stance the EU has taken is unilateral, and one which does not promote dialogue with the thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Palestinians, he said. It is an anti-Israel position. Jilo, which is located over the Green Line, is one of the five ring neighborhoods in the capital that were developed immediately after the Six-Day War. In a final status agreement, such as one based on the 2000 Clinton parameters that calls for predominantly Jewish areas to stay part of Israel, Jilo and the other ring neighborhoods are almost certain to stay part of Jerusalem. Pressed on why Lieberman endorses EU intervention on the Iranian threat while denying its stance on settlements, the foreign minister stated thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. That the European sanctions against Iran are in itself embarrassed. The EU is not working for us. They're working for them, he said. The sanctions they're imposing on Iran are not for Israel's sake. The Iranian regime is supporting genocide in Syria, they're terrorizing Lebanon. They tried to assassinate the Saudi ambassador in U.S. Turning to the domestic political arena. Lieberman decried Labour Party leader Shelley Yasamuvai, saying she was promoting an agenda that is Cuban and North Korean. Shelley Yasamuvai uses all of the slogans of the communists, he said. We'll take thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Money from the rich and give it to the poor. This is pure populism. She has no idea what a social democratic state even Island Lieberman mentioned that he is close friends with former Prime Minister Ehud Olmert, who is currently contemplating the return to politics.